Good morning children. Welcome back to your computer class. In the last class, we started with the chapter Know the Mouse. We have understood that the mouse can be used to point and select things on the monitor. We also use it to draw pictures on the computer and play games. We also identify that the mouse has two buttons, the left and the right mouse button and there is a scroll wheel in the middle of these two buttons. There is also a long wire which attaches the mouse to the CPU box. Today, let us learn a little bit further about the mouse. Let us learn what is a mouse pointer. When we move the mouse on the desk or on the table, it moves an arrow on the monitor. By default, it is a white shaped, white colored arrow and this arrow is called as the mouse pointer. So, depending on what you want to point to, Accordingly, you can move the mouse on your desk. So, the mouse pointer moves in almost the similar direction as you move the mouse on your desk. So, the mouse pointer is the arrow that moves on the monitor when we move the mouse. When we use a mouse, we usually do not place the mouse directly on the desk or table. When we do that, if the desk or the table is uneven, then it disrupts our movement of the mouse. It is not smooth. You will not be able to move the mouse comfortably, move the mouse pointer on the screen comfortably. So, it is always preferable that you keep the mouse on a mouse pad while using it. It will help us to move the mouse smoothly and more important than that, it will keep the mouse free from dust. These are all very sensitive parts of the computer. We have learned this long back when we learnt about what things we should keep in mind when using a computer. We need to take care of the things and as much as you keep it dust free and neat and clean, that much, that many, that much time you can use the part. So to keep it free from dust, you can keep the mouse on a mouse pad. It is very important to understand how to hold the mouse. If you are very comfortable with holding the mouse in the right manner, it is easy for you to move it on the table and similarly it is easy for you to guide the mouse pointer to move accordingly on the screen according to your requirement. So it is very important to know how to hold the mouse. Usually the thumb the ring finger and the little finger are used to keep a firm grip on the mouse. It comes to the, it is held on the left and the right side. We usually place it there so that there we have a good grip on the mouse. And to press the left and the right mouse buttons, we use the index finger which is right next to the thumb and the middle finger which is to the right of the index finger. So usually we use these two fingers. Now that will slightly vary depending on whether you are a right handed person or a left handed person. So a right handed person is usually a person who uses the right hand to hold your pencil, to hold or to eat etc. When you use the right hand we usually refer that we are a right handed person. 
okay so for most of you what you are going to do is you are going to use the index finger for on your left mouse button and the middle finger on the right mouse button as is shown in the picture on your screen on the left hand side so your index finger will be placed on the left mouse button and the middle finger will be placed on the right mouse button now in case you are a left handed person then in that case you can do the opposite you can place your middle finger on the left mouse button and the index finger on the right mouse button so once you hold the mouse you will become more comfortable as and when you start using it you will become more comfortable so in case you are a right handed person please refer to the picture which is there on the left side of your screen and in case you are a left handed person then you can refer to the picture which is to the right of your screen on page number 39 of your book there is an exercise look at the pictures and complete the sentences so here you can see that amit is using the mouse with which hand he is using the mouse with his right hand and rinki is using the mouse with her left hand so you can see in which direction rinki has placed the mouse let us also do some of the questions which are there on page number 39 of your book so the first question is where is the wire of the mouse attached so the wire of a mouse is attached to the cpu box the second question is name the buttons on a mouse so we are very clear about this the buttons on the mouse are the left button and the right button the third question is which finger is used to click a mouse with the right hand if you are a right handed person which finger is used to click a mouse so when we usually say click we are talking about pressing the left mouse button okay that is what we say as clicking a mouse so for clicking a mouse if you are a right handed person for clicking a mouse we use the index finger that is what we just now learned that the index finger is placed on the left mouse button so the answer is the index finger is used to click a mouse with the right hand fourth question is what is a mouse used for so the answer is we can use a mouse to point and select things on the monitor it can also be used to draw pictures on the computer and play games you will open word pad and type these two sentences in word pad wherever there are numbers wherever there are comma full stop use the appropriate keys on the keyboard and type these two sentences in word pad with that we come to the end of today's class we will continue with the chapter in our next module thank you children and have a good day